Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strong and Cast Iron Cookware, where you can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookware. Today I'm going to be answering the question, why is my cast iron sticky? And I'm going to be doing that coming right up. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone that's purchased my product, Easy Beasy Cast Iron Seasoning. The purchase of this product keeps this channel going, and I just want to say thank you so very much. So let's get on into the video. Why is my cast iron sticky is a question that I get all the time. And I'm going to answer that question. So we're going to answer that question and what to do about it. Number one, if you've got a piece of cast iron that is is sticky or has that sticky feeling all over it and usually it has a pretty good odor as well the old oil that has gotten on the cast iron if you want to see there's places right here where the oil has actually run down the side of this one or another place you'll find it is around the inside ridge of your lids now whenever you clean your cast iron once you get through using it I always pay special attention to the inside of the rim of your lids because those will really get gummy, not just sticky, but gummy and it'll just be messy. But right here I have an old gate marked Phillips and Budorf Dutch oven. On the inside, I mean, you can hear the, it's grabbing my fingers. Before we talk about how to fix it, we're going to talk about how it actually happens. Now, I've got a lot of cast iron behind me, and whenever I season them, I'll take them out of the oven, and instead of going ahead and adding a layer of oil, I'll just hang them up dry, because then I won't have oil that will go rancid. The reason for your sticky uh, cast iron is old, rancid oil. And also that contributes to the smell because once oil gets old and rancid, it does stink. Now, if I'm going to be storing a piece and I'm going to be using it occasionally, I will go ahead and add a layer of Easy Beasy and I'll wipe it down really, really well. Get off all of the excess. There's a little bit of oil on there and there's a thin layer of beeswax on top of that. And it keeps it from going rancid as quickly. Now, eventually it will also go rancid We'll give it enough time. Okay, now to the fix is I will go ahead and take an SOS pad. And a lot of people ask me, what is an SOS pad? It's a Brillo pad that's infused with soap. Pretty much the same thing. I will go ahead and put this thing in the sink. I'll take that Brillo pad or SOS pad and I will scrub this thing down. I will try to get all the gummy off, get it clean as I possibly can, and put it in the oven just like I was going to season it, but I don't add any oil at all. I just put it in the oven. I'll bake it on about 500 degrees for about 30 minutes. Then I'll let it cool down by itself. Usually, if there's any residual oil left on your cast iron, it will polymerize and become part of your seasoning. Once you remove it from the oven after it's cooled, then you can start using it or you can even store it like that and it'll last a lot longer without going rancid because there is no wet oil on your cast iron, just the polymerized seasoning. Now, if you want to start using it again, you can go ahead and add another layer of oil. Remember, wipe off all of the excess that you possibly can or you'll get sticky again and then put it in the oven and bake it on 500 or what I would say 30 degrees above the smoke point of whatever oil that you're using for at least 30 minutes. I prefer going 45 minutes or even more. It just seems to do better. I hope that takes care of your question and I hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you have please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I promise to keep more of them coming. Thank you again for watching Cast Iron Cookware. Before you go I just want to share something with you really quick. In Joshua chapter 1, verse 8 and 9, it says, The book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Have not I commanded thee? 
Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither thou be dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. I just want to say, share the word and be a blessing.